Well, anyway, let's turn our attention to something completely different. We've had a lot of talk about race recently. Of course, we had that uh, Sewell, Tony Sewell report on racism, uh, which uh, basically said, look, we're not a systemically racist society. There is still racism, but it's not systemically racist. Uh, we also had the Runnymede Trust report uh, last week uh, saying that racism is still systemic in England uh, and that ethnic minority groups are being harmed by legislation, institutional practice and customs and still face inequalities across health, education, criminal justice and everything else. Of course, we had the massive rouse over the horrific racist abuse of black football, England football players after the Euro Cup final uh, and uh, of course criticism of the Prime Minister uh, over their we were told their failure to sort of come out very quickly with enough condemnation of racist abuse of footballers Marcus Rashford, Bukayo Saka and Jadon Sancho. Well um, now there is a, a, a discussion that's being held uh, tonight, a debate tonight being hosted by the uh, Don't Divide Us organisation uh, and uh, looking into whether or not we really do have such a big problem with racism. Let's talk about this with uh, Ike EJ, who's a founding signatory of Don't Divide Us. Good morning to you, Ike. Good morning, Julia. Uh, thank you How so much you? for joining us. I'm very well indeed. I'm sorry to have left no so problem. little time for such an important conversation. I hope you'll join <laughs> us uh, on another day. It's been a very busy day. But um, um, the point no of your organisation, Don't Divide Us, is that this incessant focus on race, this incessant talk of reasons like, you know, these, these three footballers, uh, about the fact that they are black. Now, it may be an issue for some of the nasty little idiot, horrible, ignorant racists who did send abuse to these people. But for the vast majority of the people in this country, I don't think they could have cared less uh, that uh, uh, that the uh, uh, you know that whether these players are, are of one colour or any other. I don't remember even noticing on the night that it was three black players who had missed their penalties because I wasn't sitting there going, oh, let me look at your skin colour before I make a judgment about your penalty. It wasn't relevant in any meaningful way. And yet some organisations seem to be absolutely convinced that everything in our country is about race. Exactly. Yeah. And it's deeply pernicious and divisive and it's dangerous. And um, the footballers is, um, is a good example. Obviously, we all condemn racism and none, none of it, our organisation is not saying racism doesn't exist. No. We've never said that. Our issue is with this tagline of systemic race, racism as the kind of catch-all phrase, the go-to excuse for any kind of dispute or disagreement with somebody who happens to be black. We, we can't get to the situation whereby if you disagree with me, for instance, because I'm black and you're not, you're automatically racist. Yeah. That's ridiculous. We can't We can't have that. Well, we, we even had, to... well, there was criticism, wasn't there? People, like anyone who was criticising, uh, even like Marcus Rashford, there were a few people, I was saying, yeah. you, know, you know, less time on politics, more time, you know, practising your penalties. Um, <laughs> now, if someone had said that about a white man who'd been campaigning on the same yeah. fantastic issues that Marcus Rashford has done. Yeah, um, I agree. Um, no one would ever even question that. But are we in a situation, no. though, where no one can say anything? Look, I mean, that's quite different from people sending you know monkey and banana emojis to, to black players which is of absolutely disgusting and beyond acceptable uh, and is criminal is. abuse in my view no but the, the, the fact that these two things are conflated I mean, surely exactly. people can see the difference it's well, well i think most people can but it's very dangerous that there seem to be people around who are determined to conflate them and what it does it removes agency from the word racism yeah. and it really diminishes the horror of real racism and it insults those people who do genuinely suffer it. Yeah. We can't get to a society where racism becomes a catch-all phrase for any disagreement or any kind of dispute with anybody because they happen to be from an ethnic minority. That's not progress. It's the opposite of progress. It's about division. It's about disenfranchising black people and reducing, removing the idea that we should take personal responsibility for our actions. We don't have to because anytime we do anything wrong, somebody can come along and say it's racist. This is not what we want. It's a really, really bad development i think i, I was raised in a, a very sort of you know, liberal 60s family where um i was you know the, the, the views of martin luther king the idea that you know you judge people on what they do what they say the you know the content of their character not not their skin color that now would make me according to some of the activists on on social media and some of the people uh, who, who are arguing on these issues that would make me well frankly racist because if you're not anti-racist you are now a racist if you're saying that but for me color doesn't matter now i completely understand that for you know for a mum raising a child uh, in in a in in our country right now who who's, who's a white child i don't have to sort of inculcate her with with knowledge about how she may be facing discrimination in her life as a result of a color but if i was a mum of a black child i would be needing to raise those issues and have more awareness and it's very easy for a white middle class woman to say oh race doesn't matter race does matter Race is an issue and the racism is still a very big issue for an awful lot of people. But but to to actually just say that, you know, we should not talk about people's race 
all the time in every circumstance as the defining characteristic exactly. um that 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 is, is that racist well it's it's strange because if i mean if you ask me one one of the best ways to address racism is to stop obsessing about race <laughs> i i'm i'm not saying race isn't important yep. obviously it's a part of who i am but my height is a part of who i am i had nothing to do with my height i have nothing to do with the fact i was born black it's not going to define my entire life it's not going to define i'd imagine many other black people's entire life is one of the kind of myriad of wonderful characteristics that we're all imbued yeah. with Yes, it's important. And yes, as I said, there is discrimination. There is racism. None of us, we're really, well, none of us are saying that, that that isn't the case. But what our issue is, is with this kind of tagline of systemic racism, which kind of imbues racism into the DNA of every kind of establishment structure or social structure you have in the country. And what does that do? If you tell a child that you live in a country with systemic racism, you're even before you were born, you were disadvantaged, What's that child going to, maybe they're yeah. going to go away and say, oh, well, what's the point? I'm not, I live in a racist country. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to progress on this cycle of depression and, and, and victimhood and oppression and never advance. Yeah. It's a I, really deeply pernicious thing. Could not talk. agree with you more. I'm sure a lot of my listeners are, li are lining up to sort of uh, nod away as well. Uh, Ike EJ, founding signatory of Don't Divide Us. That big debate is on tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. We're very over time, but a quick word from Will Geddes, who's been very patiently waiting. Uh, he's a security and exterior expert. What do you make of uh, what? I had to say that. I couldn't disagree. I couldn't disagree with anything that he said. I think he wins your uh, your your guest of the day. Sa I think. Same guest of the day. 